everyone. So in this video, I will solve problem 1.6.5 and I will read the problem statement first with you and then we're going to solve the problem. So it says that in an experiment, A and B are mutually exclusive events. So when it says that A and B are mutually exclusive, we automatically know that their intersection is equal to zero. So let me write that. Probability of A intersect B is going to be equal to zero because they are mutually exclusive. And the probability of A is equal to 1 over 4 and probability of B is equal to 1 over 8. So part A of this question asks for um, several probabilities. One of them is probability of A intersect B. The other one is probability of A union B and probability of A intersect B complement. And at the end, it's asking for probability of A union B complement. All right. So let's see what each of these probabilities are. So probability of A um, intersect B, we know that it is zero because they are two mutually exclusive um, experiments. So this will be equal to zero. Probability of A union B, we know that it is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersect B. And we know that this is zero, so we're gonna have one over four plus one over eight and that would be 3 over 8. So for the last two that we are dealing with the B complement, let's draw a Venn diagram for a problem like this. We don't know exactly how the Venn diagram looks like because we don't know about um, like which parts of the universe, the universal set A and B are, but we can for sure say that A and B doesn't have any intersection, right? So we can always draw the Venn diagram when we have this kind of information about the experiment. So you see <clears throat> here A and B do not have any intersection, so they're mutually exclusive. Now let's see what is the probability of A intersect B complement. So let's see where is B complement. So we know that this red Part, the part that I'm drawing these red lines in are our B complement, right? So what is the probability of A intersect B complement? It's clearly equal to probability of A, right? Because A intersect B complement with respect to this Venn diagram is equal to A. So this is equal to 1 over 4. Now, let me redraw the, actually, no, we don't need to redraw the Venn diagram because it will help us for this one as well. So now probability of A union B complement. Let's write this. What is the probability of A union B complement? So do you agree that the probability, uh, the actually A union B complement is the whole um, universal set except B? which is going to be equal to B complement. Because we know the definition of union is if we want two events to be, uh, if we want to take the union of two events, um, the outcomes should be either in the first event or in the second event or in both. And here we can see that A union B complement is equal to B complement. So the, that probability is probability of B complement, and we know that probability of B complement is 1 minus probability of B, that is 7 over 8. And then there is also another part to this question, which is part B, and it asks if events A and B are independent. So we can say that no. Why? Because we know that if two events are independent, 
the probability of their um, intersection is equal to probability of one of them multiplied by probability of the other one. But here, since they are uh, mutually exclusive, this is equal to zero. And we know that zero is not equal to one over 32. So then we can say that no, they're not independent. All right, so um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.